Boats in Minecraft, easy to craft, and perfect for traveling across water. But there's a lot more uses to boats than you might think, including some that are totally overpowered. Let's check it out. Now boats are incredibly easily crafted with five oak planks, and you probably already knew that. Of course, also there are six different types of boats, and there are six different varieties of boats. There are oak boats, spruce boats, birch boats, jungle boats, acacia boats, and dark oak boats. And every single one of them has the exact same functionality, all they are very pretty colors. Now as boats are one of the most well-known items in the game, I'm not going to go over any super basic uses of them, but there are some very very cool uses of them that most players probably don't know. The first of which is you can use them to cross water in a very interesting way, basically by right clicking on the ground, jumping on the boat, and putting down another oak boat. Now it takes some practice, but you can basically do it like this, or you can do it very quickly doing it something like this while running and putting these down on the ground just like that. What's amazing is that if you do it very very quickly, you can do the exact same thing on lava. Now of course doing this in creative mode is fairly easy as you can literally just spam down hundreds of boats to jump across. To actually do it legitimately though like this is a lot more difficult as you saw I even fell in the lava there. And to do this in survival is even more difficult as you have to switch which slot you're on every single time you do it as of course you'd use up your boat. You could maybe use your number keys to do it a bit easier but overall it's basically quite a difficult thing to do. But it is accomplishable so I'm going to try it right now probably unsuccessfully. You basically jump the second you hit you switch something like that is actually able to do it for a little bit of a second there. You can see it's not too hard to do if you're doing it over a very small amount of lava, although I did just die there. But you could do something along the lines of basically like this, then jump off of it. That's pretty easy, so that could be a very good trick to do. But you could try it multiple times, but again, it is pretty easy just to fall in the lava and die, like I keep doing here. However, it could be a good trick to do if you have a small amount of lava to go over to, and you could quickly make a platform to jump on. And if you are getting very skilled at it, and you try and do a lot of work doing it correctly, you could probably go over a small section with it correctly. So that's a very good trick to do if you want to maybe try and save your life jumping across the lava, something like that. Now as well as using it to try and cross lava and water, you can also do it to avoid fall damage. We're going to start by jumping off this cliff right here, and what will happen? Well of course we're going to die of fall damage. But if we have even one boat on us, is all we have to do. Put down the boat, get in the boat, and row forward. And upon hitting the ground, we are going to be 100% fine just like this. We can even row ourselves all the way down the mountain just like this in completely survival. And we're not going to die of any fall damage whatsoever because the boat will make us not get any fall damage. So that's a really good trick to know, especially if you're trying to go off of a tall building, maybe a tall mountain like this, or anything else. Using a boat to get down is probably your safest way. Now another thing you can do, and I can probably not pull it off since I'm not the best at these MLG things, is to basically double click really quick when falling down and place a boat, get in the boat, and do that to save yourself from fall damage as well. And the trick is basically to double click incredibly quickly at the exact right moment to not die of fall damage. I may as well try it right here, although I'll probably fail, but basically just to spam right click just like this. Of course it didn't work because I didn't right click on the right part of the block, but the idea is that when you're falling down, you basically double click like this and get in the boat. But again, doing that in the right timing is incredibly difficult, but maybe it could be a good thing to try and practice so that you could get yourself saved from those kinds of traps and try not to die from baby zombies while you're doing it as well. Now as well as letting you avoid fall damage, you can also use boats to quick move. One of the ways is by laying out tons of boats in a straight line, something like this. If you get in one boat, like this one right over here, we're going to start right clicking while looking at the next boat, and the quicker we right click, the faster we go. We can basically go incredibly quickly through all these different boats just like that. We just covered a very large distance in a very small amount of time. And you can make this even faster by clicking even quicker, something like this, by just spamming right click as fast as we possibly can, just like this. And of course, the longer this is, the further you can go. But overall, it's a pretty cool method of transport, as long as you're not afraid of lag issues with this many boats, which may or may not arise, as boats are not incredibly laggy. So you could have yourself a very large travel system made completely out of boats. Just be aware if someone kind of pushes one out of the way to be a bit of a troll or breaks one, you're going to have to place one down again to get through the boat chain, as of course you can't do that without a full line of boats. Now what's so awesome about quick moving with boats is you can do the exact same thing like an elevator. All you have to do is set up a big tower or something like this, maybe for an elevator shaft in your building, and set up boats at a distance something like this. Then simply look up, right click, and you'll go from boat to boat like this all the way up the elevator. Once you're at the floor you want to, simply get off by shifting, and you can go back on to the next boat like that and just kind of go up the elevator 
all the way like this pretty quickly. You can eventually set it up so that you can also just right click in a single direction. For instance, you could get a glass pane, put the boat on the glass pane, something like this, by just kind of making them all fall down like that, which would make this a lot quicker of a design. So for instance, we could go down here, get in this boat, and simply just right click up like this to go up incredibly quickly all the way up to the top of our building and have a very nice elevator completely out of boats. Now Minecraft has always had a lot of bugs, and one of them used to be that when going on top of a boat, you would shake violently and basically couldn't move, so when you were on a boat you'd have to get off quickly and it wouldn't really function as a solid kind of object. What's awesome is that that bug has been fixed a long time ago, but a lot of players don't realize that because it has been fixed, you can literally walk right across boats as if they were a bridge. Now sometimes you will shake on it, yes, but you can literally walk all the way across it just like this as if they were solid objects, and you can make yourself a floating bridge just like that, completely out of entities, which is kind of a cool thing to do if you want to cross a large area. Just be right, this kind of shaking glitch is still somewhat in the game, and you can always fall off the bridge and getting back on can be a little bit annoying, but it could be a cool idea to make yourself a small boat bridge just like this, maybe for a mini game, or maybe even just for an interesting decorative way of crossing a river or a lake. And because if they're not glitching, walking on top of boats is like walking on top of blocks. If you space the boats in the right way, you can actually have a basically completely seamless bridge that can work super well. Now boats can basically go on top of any solid block, just rowing them is incredibly slow just like that. But an amazing use of boats is putting them on ice. Now there's three different types of ice in the game, and all three of them are amazing for making ice highways with boats. You can basically just do this by laying out a large section of ice blocks like that, and rowing the boat across it, and as you saw, it is incredibly quick. But the more packed the ice is, the quicker we go across it, as you can kind of see right here. Just be aware not to fall off of it if it's a big strip of ice just like that. Now blue ice is absolutely the fastest like this. We can get up to an incredibly high speed, and you can see here that something like that set up would be an amazing way to make a highway across your world. And as these are so fast, setting something like this up in the nether, where one block traveled is eight blocks in the overworld, you could literally travel hundreds of thousands of blocks in only a couple minutes, which is an amazing feature to have if you're a late gamer maybe on a server and want to have good ways of traveling between different areas. And of course these different ice blocks aren't too difficult to get overall, so it's nice to make different highways out of these. But something you might be saying is do I really have to use all the ice here? And you actually don't. Something you can do is you can lay out the ice blocks just like this. So it's basically one piece of ice, go forward two, one over, one piece, over two, one like this, in a pattern basically like that. When you have your ice in this pattern, which is literally four times efficient than just a solid block of blue like this, your boat will still work perfectly on top of the ice just like that, and you can still go very far distances very quickly with much less ice. Now in my opinion, one of the best uses for boats is trapping mobs. If you're on your first night of a survival world and you have some boats on you because you cut down a couple trees, well, are these zombies going to kill me? Absolutely not. All I have to do is put down a boat and load them right in, just like that. It's super simple. What's amazing about this is it works for endermen and creepers as well. Let's try it out with these creepers here. They're all going to come towards me, which is, of course, this would be totally a death trap normally. But look at that. They're all trapped right in the boats there. We can just put them down as many as we need. And because they're so easy to craft, only about one and a quarter oak logs per boat, then it's extremely easy to get yourself large amounts of boats early game. We can also do this with skeletons, although it's not super useful, although it is proof that skeletons have aimbot, look how it just shot right through itself like that, which is kind of funny. So you can see here that they'll literally shoot all the way behind them like this, which is totally unfair if you ask me. But overall, it's a really cool thing to do to trap different mobs. Now the most overpowered use of this is when fighting endermen. Let's spawn one in right now. Let's get it very angry at us. It's going to start running towards us. We're simply just going to place down a boat, get it to go into the boat, and voila, we have just saved ourselves from the Enderman. And what's so amazing is that mobs cannot get out of boats. And so now these zombies, skeletons, creepers, even Endermen are all trapped in the boats here. All we have to do is punch them to death because they have literally no way of attacking us unless we get incredibly close to them just like that. So it's an amazing way of trapping your opponents and killing them very, very simply in PvP. PvE type combat, and even the Enderman literally cannot teleport out of this boat, so it's completely trapped in there to be mercilessly killed by us because it got angry at us, so it can trap it super simply like that. You can even surround yourself in boats so that if any mob gets near you, it'll instantly get placed in the boat like that. So this is certainly a very overpowered way of saving yourself from mobs. But hey, it works, and it's a great way of even killing Enderman late game, as even late game Enderman could potentially kill you in decent armor.
Now something funny you might notice when doing this is that if a creeper explodes in a boat, it won't always explode the boat like it didn't explode it right there which is quite funny. And the zombie is completely fine as well. It's also interesting about this is let's get ourselves a boat with a creeper in it again. And we're going to ride this boat that has the creeper in it. I know it sounds crazy. What happened? We only lost about one heart, so it's amazing, because if we're moving while we're in the boat, if we're still in the boat, we'll die, but if we're moving while we're in the boat, for whatever reason, and it's probably a bug, we don't really get the full blast damage from the creeper there, so you can literally explode with the creeper just inches away from you, and you'll only lose a very small amount of your health. Just again, be sure that you are moving as you do that, or you will die inside the boat, as if you're not moving, when it explodes, it will, for some reason, give you the full damage. Now, as some players might remember, boats in Minecraft used to be very different. In fact, they would break no matter what you'd basically do. If you hit even a lily pad, the boat would break, and not into a boat, it would break into three planks and two sticks. Now, what's funny is the mechanic of a boat breaking into three planks and two sticks can still be sometimes accessed through certain bugs. So, for instance, if you're on another highway and you get into unloaded chunks, very rarely your boat will actually break into three planks and two sticks, although it's extremely unusual. Something you can also do is if you ride a boat off of a cliff and jump off of it as it falls down, very rarely, if it falls about 12 blocks, it'll actually break into planks and sticks as well. I've amazingly been able to reproduce this once, but it does seem to happen so rarely that it's very hard to reproduce and show on video. But there are some bug reports about it, so I'm sure it'll be patched eventually. However, it is interesting to see this very old aspect of Minecraft still be in the game, and maybe you can try it out for yourself and get yourself some planks and sticks from your oak boat like you would back in the day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video about boats in Minecraft. If you did, make sure to boat your way over to the subscribe button, like this video, comment down below what you thought of it, maybe if you learned something. Feel free to join the official iCraft MC Reddit, Discord, and follow me on Twitter. I will see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye!